Baby, we are back. We're back? We're back. Okay, sorry guys about that. We lost Nobody's the stream here for a really second. Be... Yeah, uh, jump back on board. Um, Man, Facebook really sucks when it comes to, I mean, YouTube. What is this? YouTube. So what you missed is that we've been cutting our marshmallows in half and then taking a dough ball, flattening it and wrapping it, and then I am also rolling the dough ball into the graham cracker crumbs so it's coated on the outside. Flattening and wrapping, flattening yep, and wrapping. we're gonna show you one more time. Scooping my dough. Shayna Sherwood, are you live? Yay, so proud you started this channel, yes! Um, I actually told her about this like a long time ago when I was first starting it and I love that you found me and yes We are live and we're making s'mores cookies. So welcome And oh legalize and Jay is back. Good to legalize see you MJ. I also legalize. like that legalize and Jay said y'all yeah. Where are you from? New Jersey. I know but do people say y'all in New Jersey? They say they say y'all everywhere. Do they? Yeah, it's we say y'all because we're from Texas. Howdy, y'all. Howdy, y'all. That's how we talk right here. <laughs> but I am kind of wrapping my dough around. Can you guys see around the marshmallow? It doesn't have to completely cover. Can you wrap about your wrapping? Uh, yeah. I'm wrapping the dough, then I'm rolling it in the graham cracker crumbs. Yo, then we put it on the sheet. Two inches apart because you don't want them to meet. That's pretty good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> he's, a, he's not from, from... Oh no, where are you from? Do you live in New Jersey now? Watch NJ stand for something completely different than New Jersey. I guess we have to wait because of the delay. So once again, flattening, <coughs> wrapping. My eye is still all fucked up. Really? My eyes too. I read this thing that if you get pink eye that could be caused by the coronavirus and I don't have pink eye but my eye is kind of been swollen and itchy which is probably just allergies but it makes me kind of worried. We got the pinky. Legalize NJ no. Oh it says I'm just different. I think he's talking about the y'all. Oh okay. Howdy y'all. So then I have my cookie dough balls ready on my sheet. But I'm actually gonna put them into the fridge for about 10 minutes because. What? Yeah, especially because we've been using, I've been using, since I'm doing it all, it my is hands. A show. And it's warming up the dough. We don't want the cookies to spread too much in the oven, so we want it to chill just a little bit. Do you wanna keep doing things? Or you just yeah, wanna I'll, entertain? I'll, I'll entertain. Okay. How do you know this? What is the one I can't read because my eye? Shayna. How do you know Shayna? She's a casting director, actually. Oh, Shayna, the big casting director. Anything I would have seen? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I can't think of anything, so don't ask me. Kung Fu Panda. Yes. She casted Kung Fu Panda. Yes. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to go ahead, while those are in the fridge for a minute, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of our cookie dough balls. Have people found? No, it's NJ. Well, that doesn't clarify if it's New Jersey or if NJ stands for anything else. Can you cut, at least cut the marshmallows in half? Can you do anything? God. God. I'm just here to be an entertainer. Okay. So you just continue to entertain then. I'm here to, to be me, you know? Be you. What is you? I don't know. That's what my therapist keeps saying. What is you? It, like, does anybody know who you actually are? Does anybody know who they actually are? Like, as a question, like, do I know who I actually am? No, we're all trying to figure no, it out. No, no, like... Oh, that you're, like, keeping keeping your secrets or self Not secret. I guess not secrets. Yeah, you're just, like... We don't need too many. Thank you. Indie films and all of that on Nickelodeon. Wow. All that was definitely one of my favorite shows as a kid. I feel like that's, you know, when people ask what are the shows and movies that wanted you, that made you want to get into acting, all that is one of the ones that made me want to get into acting. Interesting. Yeah, right? I feel like all that oh, was... Oh, the Kush Queen SA. Oh, man, did I miss the recipe? Uh, we're still making, I mean, I guess we already did make the cookie dough, but we're making the balls. 
the cookie balls. <laughs> We're making the cookie balls. Um, but the written recipe will be posted on my website later, and I will link it in the description section. And then I also take the footage here and I cut it into smaller, just the instructions. So if you want to see how they're made, you can just watch that and not have to watch us fiddling with the cameras the whole time. <laughs> well, if your friend ever becomes, gets out of casting and becomes a producer and she has that inside track at uh, Nickelodeon, they should bring back that, uh, the, those game shows they used to they do. They are doing in. that. Really? Yeah, they're bringing them back. Is, wait, is there going to be an opportunity to get a piece of the agri-crag? Or run through I the hidden temple? I think that we aged out of that group. I think I would be so good at it. I love obstacle horses. I found out, I found you a show searching for an oil recipe and I'm making it now. Oh my gosh. Yay, that children's TV and weed. You know, live a little. Children's TV and weed. <laughs> gosh. But also I mean, congratulations because didn't you just have a baby? That's why I just came out. Also, guys, let me just remind you that on 420, we're going to do a special 420 episode. Well, we're going to make a baby. No, that's not King's what's going to happen. Oh, I love King's Cake. No, we're going to do a 420 cooking competition where we <coughs> get high and we're going to make a recipe that we've never made before, both of us competing against each other. Were those all the we're details? Gonna make, we're going to make soup dumplings uh, from scratch. She said they are. They're already on, I think. Oh, Keeson is doing this emoji again. Guys, uh, so many comments. The Kush Queen says, great, I'll watch tomorrow. It's almost midnight in South Africa. Uh, good night. Good night, the Kush Queen. Sweet dreams. Her kid is six months. Man, I know. You're fucking delayed. Well, how, I, how is that delayed? You're six ruining your, You're recent. ruining your chances to be on all that. I know. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is our all that. This is our all this, that this audition is, right now. <laughs> it's very much like the SNL audition. You have to show up with three characters. Yeah. Uh, what are your three characters? Um, I don't know. What are your three characters? Um, future cowboy. Future cowboy, I like it. Um. Um. Yep, love that one too. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Postman uh, who loves dogs. Legalize NJ says sounds cool. I think I think they're talking about our cooking competition that's gonna happen on Monday. Postman that loves dogs a little too much. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, and um, Burt Backrack's bastard child. Interesting. I don't really know where that one's going, but I would be intrigued <laughs> to see. These are my three characters I'm showing up to uh, all that or Saturday Night Live. Or Saturday Or Live. Mad TV, if they're still You also have to do impressions on, on SNL, I think. I don't think you have to do that in your audition. I think there's like... Oh, okay. I have the packet. Do you? Yeah. You gotta find it. I thought you had to do more than three characters. Well, the first one, when you send your tape, is... Oh, okay. Or when you go in person, I think you have to have three characters. Oh, got it. I don't think you actually have to do the... I think they, they like want everybody to show a, at least a tempted character, but most of them are Shayna loves it. She said, ha. Ha. <laughs> what are my three characters? I would... I feel like I have to do something Asian. I would do cool Asian grandma. Uh, or cool Asian mom. Yeah, you're already there. Um, do, you wait, cool? Cool? do you think what, I'm cool? Do you think I'm cool? What are you considering as cool? Like, like satirically cool? Like to the point where like you're out of touch? You could do that one. Thanks. Um, or like, you could do uh, <laughs> you could do postwoman who likes dogs too much. Postwoman who likes dogs too much. <laughs> no, you could do. That's just me in real life. I like dogs too much. I am very <laughs> open about the fact that I love our dog more than I love him. You could do Washateria. Uh, What's that? Like a Washateria owner. Washateria owner. Yeah, you you, you manage a Washateria. What do I? What's what's special about you me? Just be neurotic. You can okay, neurotic. already there. Definitely already there. And then you could do a. Um, yep. You could, you could do like a like a old Chinese warrior, future Why do you Chinese have a warrior. Chinese one? 
Well, like your future cowboy? Yeah, like my future cowboy. And then cowboy. our future Chinese warrior and future cowboy could meet. Yeah. On and the then we road. would team up to fight bad guys. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, isn't it the concept of uh, the Jackie Chan movies? Oh, I think with it? Owen Wilson. I love Jackie Chan. With Owen Wilson? Um, oh, no, it's, he's, they're both cowboys. It's, it's all in Western times. Yeah, but like, he's obviously still an Asian cowboy. Yeah. Like, brought here for work, or came here for work. Maybe he worked on the railroad, I don't well, know. Well, you could twist. This is your opportunity to have Jackie Chan as your father. Guys, this is one of my your biggest father. dreams, is to be in a movie where Jackie Chan plays my father. So put it out into the universe, everyone. Or on All Out. Or All Out? All, wait, what is it called? What'd you say? What's that show called? That we were just talking All about? That? All That. <laughs> Okay, I finished doing the second tray, and I'm going to put these in the fridge and put the first tray in the oven. Yeah! Yeah. Sorry, guys. I got a little high before this, and uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not really a great help when I'm You're high. You're not really a great help. I'm so helpful. helpful, okay? I'm being very helpful. Okay. So does anybody have any, like, cool dreams recently? Any good dreams happening in your life? Nope. You have to wait 30 minutes or 30 seconds for the delay. 30 seconds for the delay. Oh, I was going to get another cookie sheet. Well, you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I think we should go back to this cupcake lewd conversation. Okay. I think it'll do well. Yeah. I'm bring more grounds. You know all those people that are like famous Instagram influencers for like doing n nude yoga and stuff? Anything where you're partially nude is gonna do That's well. That's what I'm saying. People you can combine that. it with like cupcakes. That's Make how. Cup cupcake ludes. I think we could just take half naked pictures with anything and we would become successful. Well, I mean, maybe not us. Nobody wants to see us half naked, do they? Well, we got pretty fat. We do. Guys, all we've been doing for quarantine is getting fat. Shana says, my husband had a dream about going to the center of the earth and then bam, yesterday on Netflix, the movie The Core appeared. <gasps> Ooh. Is your husband by any chance an executive at Netflix? <laughs> maybe it was subconscious, <laughs> you know? What's The Core? I haven't heard of it. Um, once again, let me reiterate, the show Hunters on Amazon is our new thing. It's about Jewish Nazi hunters in America. Yep. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. And a boy who just doesn't get it. Both as a thespian and as a I character like choice. <laughs> I like the guy that's the young guy. He's alright in certain parts. Other parts, but there's also parts where I'm like... I can't imagine a, a con this conversation being real in real life. Like yeah, when they I do mean, like their long monologues and stuff. I'm like, this. It just feels like it feels almost like um, like in in kung fu movies where they're like giving you like a parable or like some sort of like. Where like the bad guy tells you his whole evil plot. A cow blows in the wind, and then you know like. That's a really certain, good yeah, cow. But, evil plot. Yeah, but a cow blows in the wind. That's called the. That's the premise of Twister, the movie. A cow. A cow blows in the wind. A <laughs> cow blows in the wind. Is that a good movie? I haven't seen it. I mean, what's like the premise of Snakes on a Plane? It's about snakes on a plane, you know? Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good stuff. Still have never seen it. I lived with the snakes guy. Snakes on a Plane? It. Yeah. Oh, I've seen it once. I think it was on TV and I watched it and it's terrible but awesome at you, the same time. You know the Australian guy in it that's the co-star with, I don't remember. with Samuel L. Jackson? The only other person really throughout the movie was Samuel L. Jackson? No, I don't remember. He was my roommate at one point. That's cool. Are you guys still close? No. Shana says, ha ha, negative. He works in wine. That sounds like a great show. What we do in the shadows is great too. What we do in the shadows. What is that on? I have to remember that. What we do in also, the shadows. Also, I like that he works in wine. I hope you guys have lots of wine around. Vino. It's a good wine. <laughs> Does Mario drink wine? Is that what's happening? Is it's this me, your, Mario. It's one of your characters. Add yeah. it to your list. Yeah, Mario drunk. Drunk Mario. Drunk Mario. 
Oh, you're singing the Mario song. I didn't catch that. She says it's on FX. FX. I hear. Do we uh, get FX streaming? We can get it. Yeah, I I hear that Dave is pretty good on FX too, but I haven't oh, seen it yet. Oh, that new show, yeah. Yeah, with a little Dicky. I also watched the Disney sing along, family sing along on ABC yesterday. It's my type of programming. I thought it was really fun. Derek was playing video games. He missed it all. Do you remember my... No, I'm not going to do it on this live show. The joke that I wrote last night when we were high. About, uh... I do school. remember that we wrote a joke. I wrote a joke. <laughs> you, I, you just made me actually write it instead of yeah. just letting it be high. Hey, the thing that we were talking about the other day I remembered. What was that? We were talking about... The, the premise of the guy that was thinking oh, that yeah, he was like, yeah, asking really yeah. deep questions, but... No, it wasn't asking. He was, like, already, um, like, in a deep conversation within his head. Oh. And then all that comes out is really stupid sentences, like, what do you think that dog is barking at? <laughs> that <laughs> is what do you a think good that, question. What do you think that dog is thinking? Isn't that what I said? No, you said, what, what do dogs bark at? That's what you said. <laughs> that hadn't worked out full premises in my head. <laughs> I am almost done scooping my cookie dough balls, and I think our first batch is going to be ready soon. I will say, this is also another advertisement, not by Wix. Yeah, we're doing all these free advertisements. We don't get any money for this. These Island Mini pre-rolls. Oh, yeah, they're good. Uh, Island Mini, if you're out there, please Oh, BotsBox is here. She says, Disney, yes! Except BotsBox and I tried to watch it together, but we couldn't. These will make your brain go stupid. But like in a good way. <laughs> That's a really good ad. Yeah, I tried to watch this Disney sing-along with my friend on Skype, <coughs> but mine was delayed by like a full minute, so we couldn't watch and sing together. How disappointing watch is that? And sing so I just watched together. it and sang it by myself. Why don't you just like have her turn on her TV and you like listen to it through the TV? Oh, I guess that would have been interesting. Or you could have came upstairs and I would have mixed it for you. So you would have put it through the soundboard and you guys would have heard it at real quality. Well, we didn't think of that. And she was watching it with her roommates because she has other friends. And we I don't. have no one. I was sitting here by myself. The dog wasn't even with me. Hey, sometimes it's good to be alone. I know. Sometimes I need a break from him. What? What? We just live in different rooms now. She's been sleeping in the guest room. This is a lie. That's not true. We, but I was thinking about buying this new comforter. Has anyone heard of the Buffy Breeze? The Buffy Breeze. It's supposed to keep you cool. And since it's summer almost and it's going to be hot. Brought to you by the makers of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We've been doing so many good advertisements, guys. Um, Boss Box, I tried to remember what I wanted to say about each song and type it minutes later to match the lag. <laughs> Thank you. Coming up next... <laughs> One. Gilmore Girls. Team Chembo BMX. Great channel. Keep it up. Big love from UK. Thanks, Team Chembo. Smiley face. What is this called? Catherine, what's this called? I know you know what this Hang is called. Ten. Who's Catherine? Bots Box. Oh. Uh, because Jack does it. It's um, called something not just Hang Ten. Calabunga. Calabunga, dude. I'm just sitting here cutting marshmallows. <laughs> anyway, what else is new? <laughs> <laughs> I just like zoned out. Box box. What color does the comforter come in? I want one. Um, I think that it comes in different colors. It's also like two hundred dollars, but it's made out of eucalyptus that's sustainably raised, and it has. PET plastic bottles, so you're like helping the environment. By the I'm way, I'm gonna go check on the things. By the way, all comforters are like that expensive, like real ones, not these like nasty ass throw ones. Yeah, like the ten dollar one at IKEA. IKEA sells a ten dollar one. Oh my god. She goes, Do you remember your oil recipe two hours water at 220, right? I just don't want to leave this awesome live video. I'm fully entertained. 
Oh, she hasn't even waited for the dance breaks. We have ex exploded marshmallows. There's, Our marshmallows are too big still. There's dance breaks on this channel. Some of them are more Broadway inspired and some of them are more strip club inspired. We don't know where this one's going, do we? We don't know where this one is going. What was the question? Uh, about your oil, two hours, 220. Uh, well, there's a couple of different boxes. <coughs> I want to eat my s'mores cookies on it. On what? Oh, shaka. That's what this is called. So there's a couple of different ways that you could do your oil. Uh, I personally, right now, my favorite way is to do it in the oven. I put it in a loaf pan so that it has corners so you can pour it out later but i like to do it at yeah like 220 um 250 for like four hours you can also do it in a mason jar in a double boiler i don't like to do it just straight on the stove because it, the temperature is too hard to regulate but you kind of just uh figure out what method you like and what's easiest for you because there's a lot of good ways to do it. She likes my delivery. <laughs> you can catch me at the comedy store sometime when things reopen. When things reopen. I know. What are, are people thinking that things are going to reopen soon? Isn't that what Trump is telling people? <clears throat> no, I think he's leaning up to every state's governor as of today, but we'll see. Oh, I'm going to cut this. So, guys, I just checked on our first batch, and our marshmallows are exploding because they were still too large. So... You know, this is just going to be fun stuff. I didn't take on Allegra today, and I feel like it's starting to feel... I feel it now. Your allergies? Yeah, like my, in my chest. In your chest? <clears throat> Try that. Or I got the corona. I or might have you corona. got the corona. Who doesn't I know. have the corona? We just always constantly think that we have the corona. Even though we've been super careful and we, we haven't been anywhere. going out. I've been to the store twice. But I did weed eat the other day. We do get deliveries. There is so. someone in our yard. Um, Shannon's doing the mason jar one. Someone's in our yard. Someone's in our yard? Yeah. Our front yard? Yeah. Why? What are they doing? Um, but yeah, if you do the mason jar one, just keep the water at a really low simmer because that's going to be about 220 degrees and, um, I mean, it's like not super necessary to use a candy thermometer if you don't have one. And then, yeah, as long as you're not doing like a full rumble boil. Rumble boil, rumble boil, rumble, 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 rumble boil, rumble boil. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then I would do... That was one of the more Broadway dance breakdowns. Was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we didn't do jazz hands. That's jazz Broadway. Hands. What were you watching about the jazz... Oh, 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 the what? Property Brothers? Oh, the, property the Property Brothers. brothers. Think about the beards they have in their lives. Yeah, we started watching the Property Brothers take New Orleans, and uh, apparently one of them is dating Zoe Deschanel. And the other one's engaged to like some producer or something, but like they are so gay. Yeah, we thought that they were uh, not heterosexual. And then they have their third brother in the show now. Who I also think is. Who they're all they're all like I feel like they're lying because they're like we don't want to lose the middle of America. Yeah. Our core demographic. So do you think Zoe Deschanel knows? Like, is she in on it? She's probably just doing it for like a charity gig. Okay, we still need a little bit more. Yeah, these marshmallows have like straight up exploded. Straight up exploded. Straight up exploded. Straight up exploded. The marshmallows inside were too big. Good thing we didn't try to go for the whole thing. We were trying to just like go big or go home. Catherine, did you hear that we adopted a corgi? Catherine loves corgis. But I did send Amanda... Like a little too much. A card. <laughs> she loves corgis a little too much. That's where my character for all that was inspired from. Catherine's not that That's crazy. Kidding. Don't be telling people that my friends are crazy. I mean, they see me and they're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're crazy. You're crazy. I'm just, I'm just making these... I'm opening our cookie dough balls and then making our marshmallows smaller. You'll see why in a second. Aloha Friday. Is that today? Today is Friday. Aloha Friday? What's Aloha Friday? I mean... Aloha. Hello? You use it for anything. Any greetings or 
or farewells. Aloha also means goodbye, right? I think it just means whatever you want it to mean. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like pinchy, you know? Uh, mm-hmm. Botsbox says get out. Corgis! We didn't adopt a Corgi. I'm sorry, Catherine. But I made you think we did. He's a good liar. I'm a very good liar. I'm a woman. Whoa, whoa. I'm whoa. a woman. <laughs> Wait a second. I've been a woman all along. <laughs> just like wearing a sports bra standing here. Oh my gosh. Hi! I, I shrink a foot. You could be a tall woman. I played volleyball at Virginia Tech. <laughs> You're so strange. <laughs> How high are you right now? Not very. I want to get more high. Okay. I put on that. All right. So I cut the marshmallows into a smaller marshmallow. I've cut it into quarters, basically. And I finished these dough balls. And I'm going to go show you the marshmallow explosion that happened in our first batch. Explosion. So much explosion. So much explosion. There's so much explosion out there. Mmm. When I was a young school chap, I used to slow in class because I had no control of my body. It was a very embarrassing time in my life. Do you need help? No, I like that you're calling me sir. We're not gonna tell you my name. I, I like the uh, the name sir. I rarely get it. This is what happened with our large marshmallow explosion. It was a sploogie. It was a sploogie. So uh, they still smell fantastic. Yeah. And we're gonna eat them still, but I've also- We're gonna eat these sploogies. We're gonna eat these sploogies. But the ones with the smaller marshmallows, hopefully will not sploogie as much. Which marshmallow, these, the, the cannabis ones? Yeah. And then there's also cannabis butter. Yeah, just one tablespoon. Should I put these ones in there? Anyway? Yeah, I'll put these ones in there. Good day to you. I once found a lover on a schooner. His name was Tim. What? <laughs> it's my lover on a schooner. Who's Tim? I don't know. What did you eat before this and what's your name? Or can I keep calling you sir? That's what. Um, he blissed. He, he blissed himself. I got blissed. With our bliss. I got so blissed. Guys, we actually went... <laughs> I did say I only went to the store twice, but we actually also did go to MedMen to pick up some stuff. And Derek was gonna go. I should renew my license. But he realized that he couldn't go in because his license was expired. And then, so I had to go in, but we had also forgotten our masks. And so I, thankfully Derek keeps dirty clothes in the back of his car. So I wrapped one of his dirty old t-shirts around my face. It was quite a, quite an excursion. Thank you. You're welcome. For just ratting me out like that. About your dirty clothes? It wasn't dirty. It was clothes that I took to Danny's house. It was in the trunk. It was in the trunk. This this looks so good. I'm going to eat it. Ah! It's hot. It's really hot. It's really hot. Mmm. Mmm. So you get like a nice gooey marshmallow in there, even though our marshmallow kind of just like died and melts mm. everywhere. And a nice little graham crackery cookie. Oh, I touched the tray. Oh, oh don't touch the tray. I can't get in there. Do you need help? Mmm. In life, yes. We all need help in life. Admitting it is the first step. <sighs> We're really impatient. We don't like for things to let things cool. Thoughts? With, with the with bodies? With the bodies? 
What the body's hit the floor? What the body's hit the floor? Hit the floor? Ah! I have no idea. I don't know. Wait, what bodies? This is like... Because sometimes there's a lag with the comments and the stream, and so we get confused. So please just remind us while we eat this cookie. Do you like the cookie? Yeah, that's good. I like the parts I can eat. I was just singing some System of a Down. Yeah, that was good. You told me to do the soundtrack. I was working on the soundtrack. You could also, another option with these cookies is to make the cookie dough balls and then cook the cookies without the marshmallows and then put a marshmallow on top once they're done baking, turn the broiler on and toast the marshmallows on top, which I've done before, but I wanted to try this for something different and uh, maybe it wasn't a success, but it still tastes good. <laughs> what other songs should we get into? I've gone through this punk phase. I know, because of your punky hair. My punky hair? Isn't that what started this? Yeah. Even though System of a Down really is a punk. It's like accessible punk for the masses. System of a Down is definitely not for the masses. I don't know. What is it? What is it then? I would put it in like... I want to eat another cookie. Like guys like Algerian. And he's, and he's, he's Algerian? Yeah. Something like that. I'm gonna eat some more cookie. Is that okay? So you can kind of see like the marshmallow in there is nice and gooey. Gooey gooey. <coughs> Is this the moment where we start stripping? Apparently. <laughs> it is warm. It is really warm. You know, once you get like the hot cookie tray, the oven's on. We've been working very hard with these cookies. So hard. So hard. I'm so hard. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not hard. I mean, I've been working so hard. <laughs> it's been so I'm just sitting here eating cookies. Hard don't mind me. for me. Because I've been working so hard that nobody even recognizes how hard I've been working. What character is this? <gasps> Reality character. Oh, this is just you? This is all real. This is you in real life. Just what's going on in the quarantine. Oh. Um, I've just been checking in with my body lately just to think, just take the time to, to look inwards at myself and to say, what yourself? am I feeling right now? Mm -hmm. What is this feeling? Mm -hmm. And then I try to take that information and process it and be more mindful mm. with my actions. Okay. Uh, okay. None of that is true. You meditate. Did you meditate today? No. What did you do while I was wrote emails. Yeah. You should eat more cookies since I've already eaten two cookies. I don't want to eat more weed stuff right now. Okay. I already am highs. Okay. Leroy Jenkins! I'm really hot over here. We can wrap up the video. But wrap it up. I feel like we're entertaining. Like, this is the best all these people have during their quarantine. Like, they're so... Oh, just... Shana, do I have a weed donut yes, recipe? Yes, Shana, I do have a weed donut recipe. They're baked donuts, and um, I... I'll try, I'll remember. I'll remember, and I'll link it. I'll send you a link. I will <laughs> say, though, that um, her best recipe was probably the corn dog muffins. That's one of the favorites, the corn dog muffins that I but made. But it, it was the meat that was in there, that brisket meat. Yeah, I got hot dogs and I cut them into little pieces. But they were like brisket hot dogs. And I made little dogs. like cornbread muffins with a hot dog inside. They're no. pretty good. I want to get another cookie. I think they're really good. They are good, but they're also full of like, THC. I know, it's really dangerous. This is the problem with 
edibles because I eat them and then I just want to eat more and then you well, eat Well, maybe this much. is how I limit your diabetic intake. I know. I eat too much sugar. It's a problem. She's a sugar whore. I'm a sugar... I'm a s'mores whore. S'mores whore. S'mores whore. That's the, the title of today's um, video. S'mores whore. Shayna thinks that you're entertaining. Oh, that's both good. both of us. I'm going to say that's a we. Uh... Uh, sir, you seem bored by the idea of weed donuts. Yeah, well, you know, we're from an area in Houston where there's a thing called Shipley's. And once Shipley's. you've had a Shipley's donut, you can't really, like, uh, be okay with baked donuts. Shipley's, I know. I've tried making Shipley's donuts, and they're not the same. I think I'm going to try again. And But, yeah, frying donuts, I've tried before, and I actually have a hard time with it, getting the oil the right temperature, getting them consistent. So I usually bake my donuts in a baking pan, but you know, fried donuts, there's something to be said about a fried piece of dough covered in sugar. But if you do, uh, if you do want to... <laughs> Shayna says Sir Library yeah. Voices. If you do want to invest I gotta check and home. donate to the Patreon or the OnlyFans account where we sell lewd cupcake photos, uh, we could t put that money towards a industrial sized donut maker machine. What is an industrial where it, size? Where it does all the cooking machine. perfectly. Well, uh, specifically wait, buy like I a Shipley's machine. Yeah, where it goes to the machine, glazes it, and yeah. it like cooks it. Yeah, those are cool. Avocado. Yep, that's what I was going to say. Avocado. Avocado. Catherine says, Derek's hand's coming out from behind your back. Yeah, well, if you were at the fucking show last week, you would have already seen it. All she right. says, what about industrial-sized lewd photos? That would be good. <laughs> Guys, so these turned out a little bit better because this tray was able to chill for a little bit longer in their refrigerator. But I would still, I the marshmallow pieces that we used were just still too big and that's kind of why they overflowed everywhere. But it's kind of like a monster marshmallow cookie, which I'm into right now. Uh, I don't have anywhere to put this. Yeah, go put it on the oven. Okay, I'll go put this on the, on the stove. Hey, why don't you swap this one? Okay. That's still kind of warm. Then shall we wrap it up, or do you guys want to wait to see the last batch? No, I, I just feel like we're like, we're all these people have in their lives right now. I'm eating more cookie. We're all these people okay, have. Why don't you eat one of these? No, I'm not eating. This looks like way more enticing. Okay. We're the best these people have in their lives. This is about to be my third cookie. They're really good, guys. I can't stop. I have really terrible self-control also, so, you know, there's that. Yeah, there's, there's that. Uh, there's that. Botsbox says, uh, I feel like I've missed out a lot of things here. This is where we set up for the arm trick. Derek says, oh yeah, we did do that. Industrial sizes, lewd photos, yep. What's the best way to avoid the munchies? Uh, there is, uh, be there is poor and don't keep any food in the house. Oh, that's a good one. Be poor and don't keep any food in the house. I was even like trying to do a thing that when I was getting the munchies that I would eat like an apple. But then I would eat the apple and then I would still be like, I still want a cookie. And then I would end up eating like four cookies. So. Oh, you mean the six clementines I ate last night? The six clementines. Yeah, so if you want to like try, oh, she she doesn't want you to leave. In box box, hi Jack. But yeah, you can convince yourself that when you're hungry, you're just going to eat fruit and then only eat the fruit. You should tell her the next time I do a live show on my channel. When are you going to do a live show on your channel again? I don't know. In the maybe, beginning. Maybe now. Derek was doing quarantine shows like every day, but he hasn't. I was doing well. welfare calls, making welfare sure people calls. were alive, but people started ignoring my calls. You guys, this, this camera angle isn't, isn't showing my, my cookies here. Hopefully the last batch will look better because I cut the marshmallows down. I should also do a match with the... I should have done a... A batch with the marshmallows on top. That would have been fun. Just to have a little variety, you know? Just to, like, switch things up. I'm also going to eat one of these cookies. Don't worry about it, guys. Should I do this one? Jackson. Oh, it's still hot. really hot. Mahalo. Aloha. 
We could say Aloha. Who's Garrett? Garrett. I don't know who Garrett is. Who is Garrett? I think she thinks that you called me Garrett, I think is what she's thinking. Oh, that's close. It's Derek. Shelby Jones. Derek Shelby Jones. He goes by all three names because that's what white people do. But I don't answer. Or Derek, yep. But I don't answer what? to Derek. You don't answer to Derek. <laughs> She also spelled Derek wrong. It's yeah, it's D-E-R-E-K. I think if you want to check out our social media pages, both of our social media is linked in the description section I have as more well followers. as his YouTube channel. He I'm also more has popular. more YouTube subscribers. He's way more popular than I am. I'm more popular than her in all aspects of life. It's true. It's so true. Except with the dog, the dog loves me. Yeah. Either. That's that's what you're gonna have. That's what I have is the dog. Unconditional love from Unconditional animals. Unconditional love from the dog. I want this to be in the frame. Hey Catherine, are you making an account on this weird baby website? Tiny beans. Tiny beans. Oh, Shayna, do you have a tiny beans? Because our friend just had a baby and she started a tiny beans account. So we could see her pictures. So I also started a Tiny Beans account where I have already posted a picture of our dog Brazos. So if you want updates on our baby boy Brazos, then please follow my Tiny Beans. Yeah, Catherine, I was going to tell you that you can put uh, Captain McCluffers on, on your Tiny Beans. Who's Captain McCluffers? What's her cat's name? <laughs> Cagney. Cagney. Close That's enough. That's close. That was close. I want to pick this up. I'm gonna pick this up in my hand. Oh, it's still really ooey gooey. Oh, oh, oh. You guys see this like oh, wonderful marshmallow oh, goodness? Oh, oh, oh. Please ignore the sound. Oh, He's just, this is. Oh, you know what I have to deal with, guys? Oh, oh. Tiny beans, yum. Tinybeans.com. You can post pictures and, like, milestones for your child. I don't know. I just signed up this morning. Yes, I think I made an account. It will probably have all my future baby photos and Cagney. Yes. Uh, Facebook already has all my info. Yeah. Guys, the government is watching us. They already have all of our info. You think Facebook's the government? <laughs> the government can't even get access to Facebook. Hey, you ate the rest of my cookie. I did. It was good. <laughs> The gooey marshmallow is the best part of this. It's like eating a s'more cookie. Oh, she went. She has her own Instagram. Watch out! Kids are suing their parents for that nowadays. Ooh. But that is a good question. I don't know why Tiny Beans is better than like already having social media. I don't know what the difference is, except that it does organize it in a calendar. So I guess that's kind of cool. And they don't own those. They don't take the ownership of the photos. How do you know? That's what they have. That's what they're advertising. Oh, they don't take the ownership of the photos. Okay, I guess that's kind of cool, especially when you're posting pictures of your baby and you don't want Instagram or Facebook to own those pictures. Oh, I want to eat another cookie. Uh, just like s'mores, these cookies are definitely better when they're hot and the marshmallow is still nice and gooey. Maybe you should wait to cook the other ones. I already. They're already in there. We can make another batch. I only made a half a batch. You're gross. He's mooning me and I won't say the rest. Boss Box gonna fit in a Hemsworthy workout. See you tonight. Great job on the s'mores. I don't know, these are like lackluster s'mores. Bye Catherine, I Bye, might Catherine. fall asleep. Um, I wanna eat another one real bad. What are you doing? How much weed is in each of these cookies? So for these cookies... Cabillion. Cabillion. For these cookies, I actually used <clears throat> cannabis-infused marshmallows, which were ended up being super, super weak. And then I added one tablespoon of cannabis butter in here. Typically, for me personally, I like to do one tablespoon of cannabis butter per 12 servings which gives them, puts them at about five milligrams. I like to make all my edibles on the mild side because like you guys just saw, I just ate three cookies. 
But she's gonna get fucked. It depends on how strong your butter is she's or how get strong. Fucked. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on the cookies right now. She's Hold gonna on. get fucked up, man. Everything's going to slow down for her. Oh yeah, these are cuter. She they need, will like, one more be so scared. They need, they need another minute. So in each of these cookies, because I ended up making two dozen cookies, about, there's probably like three milligrams in these, each one of these. That's my best guess. But it's always hard because when you're cooking at home, you can never know the exact milligrams unless you get it scientifically tested at a lab. So what I usually do every time I make a new batch of butter is I try a little bit and see how it affects me and then I know how strong that butter is and how much to put in my recipes. All right, is this done now? Is this done now? I want to show them the last cookies. I just realized I've been standing for an hour and I don't do that. Stand? She called me Timberlake. Ooh. That's a compliment if I I've ever heard one. You should have seen what I did to Brittany. Yes. It included uh, Mouseketeer headphones. Thanks. All right. Here we go. These, oh. these ended up being much, much better. Oh. Will you stop that? So now we, we actually have marshmallow stuffed s'mores cookies. Wow. I had to use a quarter of a whole marshmallow about this size. Can you guys see? So this is about the size of like two mini marshmallows, I'd say. Um, but then they're rolled up and they're hidden inside and they'll be ooey and gooey when you bite into it, which is so awesome. But they're on, pretty delayed. They they're are like really more delayed, delayed than normal. I know, that's why I like to have both of the windows up. Oh no, we're alone with Timberlake again. Oh, haha. Ha. Um, so I guess on that note, now that we've finished, we can wrap up this video. Is there anything else you want to say to the masses? Uh, cry me a river. Cry me a river. Cry me a river. Is that your favorite Timberlake song? No. What's your favorite Timberlake song? Um... The mirror oh. one? What's that one called? Mirror. Mirror. <laughs> that one? Yeah. Uh, I think I like... Sexy Back? No, I think one of my favorite Timberlake songs is when he performed uh, Tennessee Whiskey with that country guy. I'm drawing a blank on his name. Chris Stapleton? Chris Stapleton. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good... This was fun. Thank you, Shayna. We need all the compliments we can get. Yeah, and all the cats. <laughs> um, thanks. Well, thank you guys for tuning in this week. We made s'mores stuffed cookies. Do you want to see them again? Oh, the gelatin is leaking out. I know, because these are these are these are our marshmallow stuffed s'mores cookies. They're graham cracker chocolate chip cookies with a marshmallow tucked inside. I used cannabis infused marshmallows that I made last week, and I also added. Jerry's here! Jerry, where have you been? Um, well, we're just wrapping up, Jerry. You missed the whole video. Um, what was I saying? These are graham cracker cookies with chocolate chips with a marshmallow stuffed on the inside. And they're so good. I've already eaten three of them. And I'll probably eat another one as soon as we sign off. She will take photos of herself sleeping later from, her, from her cookie coma. But if I'm sleeping, who's... How would I take pictures of myself? No, influencers always do it. Oh, okay. You're like, uh, I do since I don't wear makeup any ever day she because try, I don't go ever. out. Well, I, I'm not even going outside. So now that I'm, what? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but it's now that I'm wearing makeup today. I'm like, I have to take a whole bunch of pictures today, so I have like Instagram pictures for the week. But anyway, back on track. We're signing off in the video. I don't remember what I was saying. We're going to sing our way out. Um, guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video with a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. 
and go check out our social media go check out my patreon page where i post early recipes so you know what ingredients and what recipe we're making and behind the scenes stuff cool stuff i don't know what is this so long farewell <laughs> elf readerson goodbye also that reminds me you guys i just finished both of Julie Andrews' two memoirs. I've always loved Julie Andrews, but she's kind of a badass. Go check them out. Oh, you're already cutting me out. The audio's still there. Oh, well, I didn't do my final goodbye. We're back. Okay, we're back, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back to Life Above the Clouds. No, just kidding. Wait, hold up. Let's make sure this is recording still. Oh. Sometimes our camera has Bam, it good thing I said that. Our camera automatically turns itself off after a certain amount of time, and so when our we forget. Our camera. Derek's camera. So on that note, I wanted to like hold up a cookie, but they're still really hot. I'll just start over. Uh, Hi. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Life Above the Clouds. This week, we're making s'mores cookies. What was that last? <laughs> that's, that's you. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Life Above the Clouds. We made s'mores cookies stuffed with a marshmallow inside, and they are so gooey and yummy and delicious that I've already eaten three during this live stream, and will most likely eat another one as soon as we sign off. Um, but if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, share it with all of your friends, and go check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description section as well as both of our social media. And on that note, I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe and enjoying your lives. And what are you doing? All right. Bye, guys. I'll see you next week. E-M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-C. <laughs> e